what is happening what is going on you absolute bunch of legends what i'm going to do this is going to be a quick video but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a pretty cool thing that you can do in blender hopefully you're going to have fun with it and you can create some pretty interesting kind of things and you can yeah you can just experiment with this and everything is completely free and it's really easy to use so let's jump into it what i'm going to do first is you want to go to edit you want to go to preferences and you want to go to get extensions and type in tissue and if it's not installed just install it i've got mine installed but if it says that there just click on install and then click here and save your preferences just in case now how do we use it it's really really simple what you're going to do is you want to get like a base object so shift a we're basically going to mix two kind of objects so shift a i'm going to get an icosphere and i'm going to leave it at somewhere like this okay if i go to tab it looks like something like that i might subdivide it one time okay and now what you want to do is you want to get a second object so go edit preferences and type in extra so e x t r extra mess objects install it as well save preferences like normal just in case then what you want to do is go shift a and go to mesh and look for a gear click on the gear g bring it to somewhere like that and s let's just scale it smaller to somewhere like that now what you're going to do is you're going to basically use this gear to to kind of like make this object so you'll see what i mean so what you want to do is you want to click on this object first hold down shift click on the second object and now let's go here to our add-ons scroll all the way down till we find tissue click on it and what you want to do is click tessellate and make sure that quad is selected and hit ok and there we go now if i go here you can see it's created something like this if you want you can click on this icosphere and you can hide it and now you got something like this so it's now tessellated something like this and this looks pretty cool so you can create some cool things you know this gear is basically used to create this and yeah you can then basically you can mix two kind of other objects so what you could do is let's just delete these so delete delete the gear and delete the icosphere and let's do something else so shift a what we're going to do is we're going to get another UV sphere. Hit tab, something like this. And now, go back to tab. And what we can do is I've got another add-on. I'll link in the description. You can click here and you can click something like this. And I'm going to click there. I'm going to add this object. I'm going to go G and I'm going to bring it to somewhere like this. Yes, I'm going to scale it down. Just click here. And same thing. Click on this object first. Hold down shift. Click there. And go down to tissue. So go down to tissue, click there, tessellate, OK. And now it's created something like this. And what you can do is you can hide your sphere. And it's got you something like this now. So you, yeah, you can always play around with it. If you click there, it's already been tessellated. And you can see there you can get like random kind of materials. So you can see there, you can get something like that. So you don't even have to put materials on. It becomes really that easy just one thing be careful if you're going to create kind of like complicated objects just be careful that it might make your computer pretty slow and yeah it could crash so just be careful what kind of objects that you're using and don't use an object that has been subdivided too many times because the more subdivisions the more vertices the more yeah the harder it's going to be on your computer so just be careful so yeah that is basically how easy it is to create something like this so i'm going to click there I'm going to delete this sphere and it's really that easy to create you can kind of like combine two kind of objects and see what you get hopefully you enjoy the video and yeah check out blender kit link in the description check out my patreon i would really appreciate that make sure you subscribe if you haven't already that would mean a lot as well and i'll see you in the next video peace